Hi, welcome to SR blog. Today we are going to discuss about the predefined .NET delegates, action and func. Instead of creating your own custom delegates, you can use them. These are there to make our life easy. If you don't know what is delegate and why they are there, then I would highly recommend you to watch my video on delegate. I have provided the link in the description. I will be mostly explaining these in codes. So let's switch to Visual Studio. Let's create a console application. Let's name it delegate part 2. Let's define these delegates first. As we know, delegate is a function pointer, means it holds the address of a method. So, action delegate holds that parameter but does not return a value. So action delegate represents a method that takes parameter but does not return any value. Now func delegate holds a function pointer that can take a parameter and returns a value. Function delegate represents a method that can take a parameter and returns a value. So to explain you the action and func delegate, I am going to do this. I have two classes here, customer presentation which is a UI layer class and customer facade class. Customer presentation class calls a void method update data in customer facade class. Update data does some long operation and updates the data in database. Now the presentation developer has two requests to the facade developer. The presentation class should get two types of notification. First is notify presentation once update completes and does not want to return any value to the facade so we can use here action delegate. Second is notify presentation with update success and fail and also depending on success and fail presentation wants to return some data back to facade for further processing. So we can achieve this using func. Let's switch to Visual Studio and see how we can achieve this. Before implementing it using func and action delegate let's quickly implement it using regular custom delegate. So let's go ahead and create these two class, customer presentation and customer facade. Customer facade, customer presentation. Let's create a method update data. This method does some long operation and calls data in data access layer and updates data in database. Now, since this method should do a callback to presentation class, let's declare a delegate. Void why because the method that it represents does not return any value notify presentation i am not going to discuss this custom delegate in detail here as i have already created a detailed video on this if you have not watched that video i would recommend you to watch that video first i will anyway put a link in the description now let's put this delegate as parameter this will hold the reference of the callback method now after the update data operation completes, let's do a callback. Now let's go to customer presentation class. Let's create a method here. Update. Let's instantiate customer facade. Now call update data method. Now update data method should do a callback. So let's create a callback method. This method does not return any value notification callback okay let's put this method here let's print a message update data operation completed now let's go to program.cs and make a call let's instantiate customer presentation call update let's build this looks okay let's run this now see you get a message saying update data operation completed. Now how can we achieve this using action delegate? Just replace this delegate with action. We don't need this. That's it. Build it. It's okay. Run it. Now see we get the same result. Now as I mentioned earlier action delegate is there just to make our life easy. You can directly use this delegate instead of creating your own custom delegate. And Microsoft also recommend you to use 
the predefined delegates. Now the method that action delegate represents, that is this method, cannot return a value to this. However, customer facade can send value to presentation. So if it wants to send some value, say string, then how do you send it? Just make it a string parameter. Let's type some message, message from facade. Let's come back to this class. This should receive a parameter now. Let's print this as well, message. Let's build this, all okay. Let's run this. Now see, you have sent a parameter to the callback method, message from facade. I hope the action delegate is clear to you. Now let's look at the func delegate. Let's overload update method here. This method also does some long operation, updates data in database. Now this method should do a callback to the presentation stating whether the update was successful or not. At the same time, it should receive some value from the callback method for doing some further processing. So let's declare a delegate again. String string because the method that this delegate represents returns a string value notify presentation return a string and since it has to send the callback method whether the update was successful or not so the callback method should have parameter bool let's receive this delegate as parameter let's do a callback say update was successful so let's say true since the callback method also returns a value let's receive it here Let's print a message, customer facade, return value. Let's go to customer presentation. Let's delete this message. Since the callback method should return a string, let's do a string and it should receive a bool parameter. Let's return a message from here, a message from callback method. Let's also print a message here. If update was successful, update was successful else update was not successful let's build it all good let's run the application see update was successful customer facade MSS from callback method now how can we achieve it without using this custom delegate let's come in this let's use a func delegate func the method that this delegate represents receives a bool parameter and returns a string that's it build it and run we get the expected result you can clearly see here how the predefined delegates eases our work at the end let's see how many overloads action and func delegate has so type action so you can see here 16 overloads it has it takes zero or more argument and returns void now let's see func func has 17 overloads it takes zero or more arguments and returns it result t result which is generic that's it for today hope this video helped you understand action and func delegate please subscribe the channel if you are interested in such content